What up, what up? This is the kid Verse Simmons in the building. Big shout out to Street Politician. You already know Coalition DJs in the building. Fucking with the kid Verse Simmons. For those of you who don't know who I am, singer, songwriter, artist. I've written records for, for everybody from Kidding to Chris Brown to R. Kelly to Kelly Rowland to Usher. You know, the list goes on. Jay Z and Kanye. Um, currently got a new single out right now. It's called All I Want. Make sure you get that. Featuring the homie Jeremiah. Yeah, man. Uh, All I Want is a real crazy record, man. We use a cha cha uh, sample in there. Big shout out to my homie Jay Hill. He produced that record. Uh, my dog Jeremiah hopped on it for me. It really is one of those situations where I was in the studio. I was catching a vibe to the record. I wrote the record. Had my, my boy Jeremiah come in and really just bless. Uh, the second verse, you know what I mean? It's one of those things that, you know, we kind of call on each other to get in the studio and work. And this just happened to be one of those times. Um, he came in, knocked his verse out, came out really crazy. And, you know, here we are with the record now. We're getting ready to shoot the video within the next month. I think some of my biggest inspirations in music, you know, go from, you know, Bob Marley, Barris Hammond, all the way to Babyface. You know, it goes all the way to... K you know, Kanye, Jay-Z, you know, Pharrell is a big inspiration for me as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I find that I'm most drawn to the, the creators that are not only right for themselves, but also for other people as well. Some of my favorite producers, I would have to say, um, of course, you know, you have the Timberlands, you have the Kanye Wests, Swiss Beats, um, those are some of my, of course, Pharrell, like I said already, some of my favorite producers. Um, Mike Will is, a, a, is one of my favorite producers right now. You know, he's killing it, killing the game right now. There's so many of them. You know, you got Sunny Digital, you got Metro Boomer, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are my peers, but I also respect their craft. I also respect what they do and what they bring to the game. So, you know, I'm, I'm really fans of their work as well. It'd be Bob or, Mike, or Michael Jackson. Those two would be the two people that I would be like, yo, let's get in the studio, you know what I mean? Like, let's, let's create something, because I know that those are two people that I know change the world through music. And you know, that's kind of what you know I aim to do, you know what I'm saying? So definitely Michael Jackson and Bob Marley is you know, two people that if I had to bring a legend back, you know, out the grave, those would be the ones. I think one of my first albums as a kid, was probably the Fuji's. The Fuji's album was probably one of my first albums as a kid, and I remember burning that album out like every single day listening to that album. Um, like it spoke to me because I'm a Caribbean kid as well, and um, you know what they were doing was definitely you know, groundbreaking for anybody that's from the Caribbean, you know what I'm saying? That was definitely one of those moments for us that was like, yo, like, you know, we see people on the screen that, you know, kind of represent what we represent, being, you know, refugees and all of that. Yeah, man, um, I'm originally from Puerto Rico. That's where I was born. That's where my mom is from. That's where our family is from. Um, on my mom's side, um, my dad is from the Virgin Islands, so I grew up in the Virgin Islands. I grew up in St. Thomas, so I normally, usually I, I rep the Virgin Islands the most because, you know, that's where I was raised. Like, that's where I grew up. That's where most of my childhood memories are, St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. If you've never been there, you need to go there, make sure you go around Carnival time, whatever, but make sure you get there because not only is it a beautiful place, but it's a great culture, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get to experience some things that you probably never have, and you don't need a passport to get there, you know what I mean? You can go there just with your ID, you know what I mean? It's US territory, so yeah. You know, I got my first placement um, on, a, on an act signed to Capitol Records. Um, named Accent. Um, me and my partner at the time, we did pretty much her whole album, most of her whole album. And they released it over in Japan and it went like gold in Japan. And that's kind of how I got my break into the music industry. You know, my first um, award, I think was probably like last year, you know, I, I finally got an award for Love More, man. I got a award for Love More. That's a Chris Brown record that I wrote featuring Nicki Minaj. Um, and I 
man, I, I, I'm four times Grammy nominated at this point, you know what I'm saying? And I actually got uh, a few BMI awards under my belt as well, but the first time is like one of those things that you're like, yo, like, you looking around, you see all the stars in the room, and you like, yo, like, they gonna call me up there, and when they call me up there, all these peers of mine who are also in here gonna, you know, gonna kind of recognize me for the work that I've done. Make sure you check me out on Instagram, at Verse Simmons, V-R-S-E-S-I-M-M-O-N-D-S. Same thing on Facebook, same thing on Snapchat, same thing on Twitter. Make sure you follow me. Big shout out to my coalition DJs once again, because they've been holding me down for a long time right here in the ATL. All the records that I've broke have come through uh, uh, the coalition at some point, and they helped to break these records. So big shout out to every single one of y'all, man.